attacked again. My gosh. Uh, welcome to the Weed Show. Uh, once again, we have press day on Fridays. It's one of like, the most relevant frustrated thing I've seen this series put together in a long time. I know they get four 30 plus two minute, uh, 30 minute plus two lap motos in every week. But uh, this is a big deal. It works out well for the riders and for us. So I'll get as many inter interviews as I can. Do we have to wait till they're in the background or can I just grab people? I'm going to try to just grab people. We'll see what happens. Anybody know the rules? Am I allowed to just grab dudes or I got to wait till they're in front of a background? Do you care? You don't care. All right. So you're overdue to be talked to, Derek Drake, because uh, really uh, you had one problem in one moto. Yeah. But the riding in all four motos has been top 10 level good, right? Yeah. 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 It's been good. Yep. I'm stoked with it. What is the reason to do the 450? Where did this idea come from? Well, really, I mean, you know, how many guys were hurt and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, you might as well. So now's yes. the time. So, um, you know, the 250 class is stacked, it's deep, and it's super competitive. So, yes. might as well have a fun summer and learn some new things. Okay. How long had you ridden the 450 to get ready for this? I maybe had a week and a half, two weeks. Yeah, yeah. yeah so is it that different? Last uh, it is different for sure. Yes. Like, for sure, the 450 chassis compared to the 250 chassis is lots different. Oh, so, okay. Not just uh, the 450 the 250 thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's, it's a different chassis. Okay. So, um, you know, we're struggling, but well, we're not anymore. But um, yeah, yeah a lot of when you first testing. got on it, yeah. it was different. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Well, so a lot of suspension testing. Still need to throw out my starts for sure, because that's what the main thing sucks. But, um, yes. Uh, yeah, should be good. Uh, is this a nice little pep in your step and some confidence yeah. uh, with these results? Yep, definitely. Yeah. I mean, uh, I've just been getting my butt kicked, you know. <laughs> so uh, might as well, you know, show some flashes here and there and uh, have a good time in qualifying. And uh, yeah, it's not fun. And we have these playoffs this year. So points are on yeah, the line. Yeah. Have you thought about this? Because you're sneaking in there I already. Know what, yeah, I know. That's what, I was looking at the points and I posted it a couple days ago. Yes. And I haven't really been, I haven't had like my mind set or anything. Like yes. it happens, it happens. But yeah. I think we should be able to make it happen this summer. So uh, that'll be good. A little, little bonus money, dude. Yeah. Um, last thing, the story with you a couple years ago was this heart situation. Yeah. You've gotten that rectified. Yeah. Now that you've got that behind you, yeah. what has it been like? How much better has it been? All that. Yeah, I mean, it's been, it's been taking a long, long time, fitness wise. And, uh, yeah, it's been taking a long, It's longer. still a process. It's still a process. No I'm way. still getting better. Yeah. But um, it's taking a long time. So um, I think now I'm on the right track. And yeah. um, just need to have this, complete this whole summer. And, uh, you know, it's going on this weekend for next year. So this is not a case of you had a heart surgery and it's yeah. just night and day you're yeah. fixed. It's yeah. not like that. Yeah, I mean, really, before my heart surgery, I had nothing to my fitness at all. Like, yeah. I was just a normal guy. Yeah. And uh, I started from ground zero. I and, see. And, um, yeah, just building my bases for the folks I'm building my base is all I can do and it's gonna take a long time like I said. But you're seeing gains still you're yeah, making gains. progress. Like last weekend was the first time I had two solid motos and outdoors but ever the AA. usually I'm you know in the top ten then I'm twenty fifth yes. second moto. So um, yeah it's been good. Wow all right Derek Drake 450 guy yeah, thank you killing it uh, I'll talk to the teammates here. We got Bumpy and we got Ryder D. Um, I feel like you've shown some flashes and some speed. Are you happy with the, how the riding's been, Ryder D? Uh, yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, the starts have been decent. Yeah. Top eight, top ten both motos. Yeah. But uh, I think to be up there in the mix, to have a top five, you got to start like top three. Um, okay. Like eighth back is a dog fight the whole moto. So, yes. Um, yeah, to be up there, I think you need a good, pretty good start. Are you learning in these motos, though? Has it been a lesson learned, all four of these, in these battles? Yeah, it has. Um, fitness is coming around. I think it's just the race fitness, like yes. doing the laps and logging it in. Um, that's the only thing I've been back in. Yeah, because I'm sure you've done 30s a million times. A million times, yeah. But is it not like that? No, it's not. <laughs> you gotta, Yeah, you got to race yourself in, into fitness for sure. There we go. All right, and uh, Mumphy, it's been going pretty good, I feel. I don't know if you're satisfied with it, but you're in the hunt every week. Yeah, starts. Starts suck. Like I've been outside the top 15 every start. Yep. Uh, but working my way up into the top 10, I think last weekend, first moto, I moved up into nine and then went down. Yeah. So I ended up 15th that moto, but the result wasn't as good as my riding was. It's yeah. pretty, pretty good. And then uh, second moto, same thing. I was like, terrible start and ended up getting ninth. So if I mean, if I work on my starts a little bit and I can get like a, a six, seven day, I'd be stoked. But I yeah. uh, just need to work on a couple little things. Like Ryder said, like, Anywhere from 8th to 20th is like really, really good guys, and you're constantly having to set up well thought out passes. It's not like yeah. you're just blowing by people. So, yeah, um, yeah I just work on a little bit of things this week. I, I did a thousand starts. So, yeah, you're trying. Yeah, exactly. So, I worked um, on a lot of weaknesses this week, and, and uh, hopefully, it 
Achilles over. How's the leg Achilles calf situation in these long motos? It's a lot better in Supercross. Supercross is gnarly G outs. Yes. And uh, you have to be super, super precise with your form in Supercross. Outdoors, you can kind of let it hang out a little bit. Yeah. Um, I still tape them up every every race, but right. uh, other than that, it's been pretty solid. You're the only one that knows what Tomac's going through. The only one. Yours wasn't as bad, but yeah, it was bad. Still, that guy, he's in for it, for sure. Yes, it's no picnic. No, yes. Yeah. There are no shortcuts. All right, thanks, boys. There are no shortcuts. That's uh, Carson Mumford and Ryder Francisco. What's up, Megawatt? What's up, buddy? What's up? Oh, this How is where we ended up meeting up. Huh? I was supposed to call you about the announcer's tower on Loretta's, but we oh, ended up meeting like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, uh, we got something good you, coming. Yeah. We got something good coming on Loretta's. You better believe it. It's be beautiful. It's top secret right now. Yes. Thanks to the folks at Phoenix Honda and Maxim Construction. All right, uh, I'll be right back. Yeah, get out of here. I would. Get out of here. We're waiting for his time. Yeah. Uh, RJ, what's up? Interview. This is how I do it. I just roll right in. I just roll right in, dude. I didn't even hit stop. Yes. Uh, I'm going to ask you about um, great start. You're a smarter, experienced guy. So I want to know about the scoop tire and great starts. What's better for the great? I know the scoop tire is better for disc up dirt, but what about the great? I don't think it matters necessarily about the great. Okay. Because of how good that scoop is out front. It's just, like, you got to have it. You don't it. even have to have a jump with that thing. You get that drive. So you would blow by a dude. If he got to jump on you with a intermediate tire, you'd blow by him. Yeah. No yeah, way. No, for sure. And, yeah. Um, Paul Awan. Yeah. Or Paul first motor. Yes. I did that. You know, I had the scoop. Someone yeah. next to me did it. They had the jump on me in front of me, and I yes. literally right by him. So, dude, the tire plays such a huge, huge factor in this 250 class, yeah. on this 250 bike. So, I think that's why I got a bad start that second moto last weekend. Yeah. I, my start was sick. My yep. start was really good. Your jump was good. The guy to the left of me had a different tire than what I did. And it, it, he, because I know my bike's fast. It's, it's yes. where they're at. Yes. And he just kind of edged me out. Had to check up. That's what it was. But a scoop on that track at Hangtown would have been scary. pretty tough. Scary, scary. Yeah. He didn't have a scoop. He had a half scoop. Oh, the modified. So that's what everybody's... Do you have to consider that now as a potential option? Yeah, I was already considering that. Yeah. From I rode with it in practice at yeah. Hangtown. I was going to yeah. run it, but... And I didn't see anyone else on it, so I was like, all right, no reason to do this. And then one guy showed up, <laughs> showed, up, showed up, showed up with it. So I don't know if you ran a first moto or not, but I seen it in second moto, and I was like, shit. <laughs> You go 5-5 last week with the bad starts though, so obviously you want to be on the podium, but is there a part of you that says like, hey, that could have been a horrible day, and at least I got two fifths. Can you find some positive out of that? Last last year I left there in the ambulance. So yeah, so that's positive. That's a positive. Yes. The first two rounds, this is my best first two rounds I've had with a podium yes. and a top five, yes. so I'll take that. Um, I mean, I'm not I'm not worried about it because my riding's been good, yeah. like really good. I'm stoked yeah. on that. Like, dude, to move forward on that track last weekend was, was tough. Took a lot out of me. Um, but yeah, man, I just gotta get out of the gate and put, give myself a chance. Like, I feel like if I can get in the top five, like I at least have a shot at it. Yes. Um, so, don't. I'm not saying I'm gonna go out here and hold shot, but at least be up there in the fight. Do you feel like these first two tracks have been uh, every track start dependent, but has been more so where the start was more important than it is on average? Last week seemed like exceptionally bad. Yeah, last week was was probably the worst I've seen. Uh, yeah. Just because how the track was prepped and everything. Like, yeah. It just didn't give me much of a choice, and everybody was going fast on it. It was pretty easy. Um, yeah, I mean, Paula had it was pretty technical that second second moto. Yeah. Uh, but still, I mean, we'll see here. I, I think we're even with the rain um, and the moisture, like it's gonna be pretty ruddy, so it should give us a lot of more opportunities and then you know, <laughs> side of it. I'm laughing because we hear too ruddy, then you're in slot cars. But then if you don't get enough, then it's one line because there's not an ultimate. It's, it's so hard to get the mix right. I hear both sides. Just throw some sand in it. You'll take it. Yeah. I'll take sand, that. Sand, sand. I'll take that. I'm just, what I'm getting at is I feel like last week we're trying to read into these results. And maybe we just need to read into the starts last week and say the starts had such a difference. Yeah. Don't read too much into where anyone finished. No, yeah. I, other than myself, like I didn't really see anyone. Coming think, through. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, Joe... Joe did the first moto because yeah. he locked onto me. Like I passed him early. Yes. He locked onto me and yes. literally just followed me through the entire entire field. But other than that, I mean, dude, it was, there wasn't much going on. I mean, I would just say even in the front, like it took Hunter really. a while to get you know to third the first yes. moto. Um, yeah. That's what we, like. we don't know yet. That's what we like on our side. We yeah. don't know. We got to see tomorrow. All right. Thanks. Yep.
All right, that's RJ Hampshire. Um, our show, of course, brought to you by the Honda CRF 250R and CRF 450R. Uh, the bike that's powering, powering that guy right now to a dominant start to his 450 campaign. I'm gonna go outside the booth real quick so it's a little bit quieter. Um, these bikes are designed to help you chase checkered flags even faster with their low-end torque out of the corners, track tune, suspension, point and shoot, handling. The tagline they gave me for the Weed Show Honda here outdoors is make winning look easy. And that's exactly how it has looked. And I think that is the big thing that everyone's trying to figure out with uh, Jet Lawrence. It looks like he is cruising, it does. But I've always said that one of the great things about Jet is that even when he's going super fast, it looks like he's cruising. It's much more of the Kevin Windham style of riding than the Ricky Carmichael style of riding. And I've talked to enough of those very smooth tactical riders in the past, Damon Huffman, Windham himself, and they'll be like, yeah, you might not think I'm on the edge, but trust me, I am on the edge. It just doesn't look like it compared to other guys. So I think that's what everyone's trying to figure out. How much reserve is there? We obviously saw him managing the clock and managing the gap and looking over last week. Um, but is it a matter of he has these guys completely and totally covered, he can win by a minute, no problem if he wanted to, or is it uh, closer than it looks? And that's what's cool about the beginning of the year. These, it's hard to have hard and fast answers. You probably have an opinion on it, but we're still only four motos in and we'll await the data to learn more. Solid. We got a real yeah, professional, Reynolds, professional backdrop. Yeah, so Jet Reynolds, you finally have gotten a race. What has the experience been like? First of all, just getting out there, and then we'll talk about the results and the riding. Is it a relief just to be doing it? Yeah, no, for sure. After round one, um, it's definitely a big relief just to finally say I've done a, a professional race. Yeah. Um, you know, it's definitely been a long time coming. Uh, definitely unexpected turns and twists, but yeah. You know, I raced four four motos. Um, you know, I had a lot of a lot of goods, I'd say. You have, and then, yeah. And then you know, kind of kind of a you know a little bit of lows, but we're running with the highs, and we're we're kind of going to continue to you know to go off that. Yeah, when you were running third last week, or you're running top five ish at Pala, did you feel like okay, this is doable? Nothing about this is crazy or harder than I thought. Did it seem comfortable? Yeah, it was kind of a bummer too because. I mean, the weekend before I had a bitch and start, yeah. and then um, Hangtown I had a really good start, and I didn't have the nerves like I did the weekend before. Okay. So I felt pretty sick for a lap and a half, yeah. and I felt like I could, you know, maintain that pace for. I don't, I don't, I couldn't tell you how long. But, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I definitely felt comfortable. Just, just a silly little mistake. I think my rear end came out of the rut maybe a little bit, and then got off balance, and then weighed her down. But I mean, that crash didn't really affects me too much like i crashed two more times after that so oh just shoot just yeah. silly little shit like that kind of you know and did you have so, a problem second moto yeah second moto i was involved with the jmar incident oh okay kind of walked my head and you know just really wasn't wasn't quite there and it was just really hard and i, I I wanted to finish the race, but I ended up pulling off like two hours to go. So. But you're okay now. Yeah, I'm okay yeah. now. I went through the concussion protocol. And yeah. All that. I got to ride yesterday. So. Okay. We don't need any more bad news. Yeah. These are all goods. Yeah, yeah. Keeping it good. We're ready to all right. Okay, this is what we like. I'll admit, I don't know everything about everything. So, Kyle, what's your last name? DeRoche. Kyle DeRoche, yeah. first national. Yep. Are you a local product? Yep, I live about 30 minutes from here. So, was it always like your dream to be like, dude, I'd love to race a national here? Kinda, yeah. Like, I grow, I've grown up since 50s riding on this track here. Yes. And yes. Uh, I live just like right on the road. And I always, I come and watch the national every year. Yes. Since I was a little kid, I was like, man, it'd be so cool to race like the hometown national. Since 50 class. Pretty much, yeah. No way, that's cool. Yeah, I've been, I've been started, started riding when I was three, but I did like, uh, like off road hair scramble and yep. type stuff, but I got yep. in the moto in 2015. Okay. Um, but yeah, since then I've just I've watched all the races my whole life, and this has been like a dream of mine to, to do the local race. So is it uh, like are you looking at like I want to pursue this as a career, or is it just check the box and say you got to race the local national? How does that work? For now, it's more of like a check the box kind yeah. of thing. If this one goes good, I want to try to see if I can come up with the funding to do more. Sure. Uh, but I go to, I'm a full time college student. I work full time as well. Oh, okay. So yes. I'm kind of supporting the supporting the dream. So yes. Uh, yeah, it's, it's right now it's just a check off the box kind of thing, and we did, we checked off the first box, but there's, there's more boxes than I want to do. I just ask because I love that, like, you don't have to be all in. Like, you can do this and enjoy it yeah. and not have to have that level of pressure where it's do or die. Yeah. You've got a plan either way. 
For sure, yeah, yes. yeah. I got a plan for my career. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I mean, unless something crazy happens, sure. this hey, might it works be in out. It. Yeah, You'll take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it works. Yeah. yeah. But um, no, yeah. I'm just super excited to be here. I mean, I've you know, I watch all these guys on TV every weekend. It's just, it's crazy to be around them. I mean, it's, it's nervous, but I'm turning the nervous energy into excitement. That's right. Okay, what's your number? Uh, 970. And which class? Uh, 250. 970, 250. Yes, sir. Hopefully, we see in the motos, right? right? Yep, that's the goal. All right, Kyle. Nice to meet you. See, I just learned something there. Perfect. College student. That's what we want to hear. All right, press day riding has uh, begun. There are storm clouds on the horizon. This is a Colorado thing, though. I know that everybody was saying it's going to be a mutter this week. We had rain all week. Does that look like mutter to you? Does that look like mutter to you? Yeah, I got running shoes with the uh, khaki pants. Not the best combo. That's like hashtag dad life. They're not New Balance, though. I'll give you that. Anyway, um, if it rained here or not, the track is super dry. No doubt. But there are clouds over there, so that can affect things tomorrow. Now that was great timing when you get Andrew Keen and Ben LeBay on the two strokes going by. Here's Ryder D. Could be a big mooder anymore. a media guy like everybody else you got a podcast Title 24, you just bro. shit talk yeah. you probably don't know what you're talking about only just throw only, stuff out only half the time only half, only the, time. half oh, the time oh that's better, yeah. that's better than most i'll give you that um are you going to all these races now uh, i'm going to a few I'm going to a few okay i don't think you want to sign up for the whole thing that was not that can't be the goal i might as well be racing uh, yeah that's what i'm saying, that's what I'm, saying. I'm not going next weekend okay so. how's your guy doing uh i think he's doing well yeah i feel uh, like he's riding He's in the mix every week. He's in the mix every week. Yeah. Uh, he's right outside the phone. Yeah. I feel like um, for what, five um, races under his belt? Yeah. Yeah. But he's been in the hunt. I mean, look, I want him to do better. Oh, okay. But, All um, right. but for what it is, I think we're he's right there. Yeah. I think yeah, you got to be encouraged. My, yeah, my, my goal and hopes is by the end of outdoors, we're, we're right at that top five. Yes. Battling for post. Well, I feel like he's top five ish already. Close. Close. We gotta yes. finish this. Oh, okay. Now, now, do you ream dudes out? How do you do this? This is Ryder D we're talking about. Do you ream people out? Or are you uh, cool? No, I, I I haven't reamed them yet. Okay, okay. <laughs> Not, <laughs> Not to say yet. that couldn't happen. Okay, alright. I like that. You know, I think it's, it's young. It's, the class is stacked right now. You it know, is. It's, yeah. It's a lot of guys that have been in there a long time. Uh, which really doesn't matter long time short whatever but yes. uh there's a lot of guys in there that have a lot more experience than yeah. he does so yep. um like i said I, i'm happy with where he's at but but uh we need to be better we need to be better okay i like it um hey let me ask you about track prep we had these years of mega ruts i think even in your time i think we had mega ruts in your time then they realized maybe that's not the best. Now it's gone too far the other way. What do you want to, what would you like to see tomorrow? Uh, the mega yeah. ruts or the mega non ruts? I mean, this track can get gnarly with the ruts. It's outdoors, you know, yeah. and I think that showcasing, I mean, look, we might have some weather. So, yeah, that'll affect it, yeah. So that's gonna affect it, yeah. make it ruddy, and hopefully it's not a mutter, but yeah. uh, honestly, it's outdoors. I was very, I was a little disappointed in Hangtown's prep, I thought. Exactly, uh, yes. Uh, it looked like they were very crushed. The track was pretty narrow. Yeah. Um, and I see all the comments and all the, you know, especially with Title 24 now. Is a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tracks this, tracks that. How do you, you know, I think they, they need to, they need to leave a lot of it. They need to prep it right to start with. Deeper? No, no. I say yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, and I think that the rougher it is, the ruddier it is, the yeah. slower the riders have to go. And That's nice. Injuries are the, a big topic on yes. Idol and, and, and Title 24 and all these Oh yeah, things. I've heard you talk about it, yep. Right, so uh, speed's a big killer in, in, in our in any, any sport, yes. any, any form yes. of racing. Speed is what hurts people. Yep. So if we can, if the tracks are super gnarly and rough and they have to go slower. Yeah. You achieve the slower speeds, right? So yeah, but here's the 
players that are gonna, this is so funny, this is how hard it is to get right. Then they're gonna say, but the ruts and the roughness lead to crashes, but you're saying, yeah, but it's slower. So see how hard it is to get this right? It's hilarious to but me. We, but yes. ultimately, we race motorcycles, we race dirt bikes. It should be we're tough. Gonna having, we're gonna yeah, have yeah, yeah, yeah. The tracks need to be tough. Yeah. We have 35 minutes, and this is the best in the world. Yeah. I know we have here. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 but still, we Did you ever race over there? Uh, yeah, a couple, you did? Okay. Couple times. Okay, yeah. yes. Oh, but it's supposed to be hard. Yeah, do it's not talk about that. It's supposed to be hard. Yes. It, 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 like the speed is the main killer, I think. Yes. So when you had the 300-foot-long the rut here, were you like, oh, this sucks, I'm locked into a line? Or could, I felt like we saw awesome motos here and battles because of the ruts, I feel. Like we're out here at Crest Day right now yeah. and it's very smooth and everything. If you were to go racing right now, you'd have a, a, a train of guys and passing would be very hard. Nothing you could do. But yeah. you have rough, ruddy, yeah. you know, tough conditions. Yep. Mistakes are more prone to happen, so yep. yeah, you have passes there. And I think with more lines in the turns, Yep. But I also don't believe in if you have a turn that is only an inside line and the outside super deep and muddy. Yeah, yeah. I believe going out and sticking the dozer out there really quick and making it another an alternate option, line, yeah. An option line yeah, yeah. that people can then race. Yes. So, yeah, sometimes it man made has to happen. It does. They used to do that a lot back when we were racing, and it was. Build an outside line. Build an outside line. And here's the other thing we talked about this. Why not? We have two practices. And yeah. Why not put hay bales in every inside turn for the first practice only? Yep. And only have one time practice. We don't need two time practice. These guys are too, they're, they're, these guys are they're pros. They yeah. they should be able to knock down a gate bale in practice. They don't need to. Or just say, hey, the first time practice, you're not gonna be able to go inside everywhere. Exactly. Like, put We're still gonna time it. Put hay bales yes. in. Yep and make it to where that is yes. so that you don't have to put the dozer out there right before Moto 1. Right. Yes, it's it's a balance. That's the hard part. I think it's everybody wants to come down on just do this or just do that. It's very complicated. Yeah. But I like the I think we had awesome motos with the ruts here. Didn't bother you? No. There we go. Well, I won a lot. Nothing bothers you in that traffic. the weather in the track prep, having greats in Colorado at elevation for the uphill start for the first time. I was expecting teams to come out here and be politicking and begging to get greats down here on press day. Not going to get it. Wow. Not hear bikes bog like that off the line often. Maybe the next start, no are revving up more. Anyway, we've done a ton on the show already. Thanks to the riders. Thanks to having press day. Thanks to Hunter and Jet Lawrence and Honda for backing our show with the CRF 250R and 450R. It makes winning look easy. And I don't think you can argue with that tagline for the first couple rounds. Thanks for watching. That is a really low hole shot device. Wow. Especially touching the fender.